Hello friends, in electrochemistry exercise question with solution as we have completed first part of the question number 2. Today we are going to discuss the second part of that question 2 means in that 5 question already completed. Now see a question. What is that question? Write Nernst equation. What part of it represents the correction factor for non-standard state condition? Means here firstly we should know what is the Nernst equation. If we consider any one reaction. A a plus b b it gives c c plus d d in that what is that Nernst equation Nernst equation is e cell is equal to e naught cell minus 2.303 rt divided by n f log of here concentration of product divided by concentration of reactant or we can say that concentration of oxidized state divided by reduced state. So, what will be that equation? C. C. This part is the product. So, C rest C. D rest D. Divided by concentration of A rest A. Concentration of B rest B. Means here we have to take that moles as a power of that concentration means here 2 is there then we have to take the square of that concentration and this is the equation for the Nernst equation. Now which part of this equation is the correction factor for non-state conditions that second part means this part represents the correction factor. So what is that part C? 2.303 RT divided by NF log of C raised C D raised D divided by concentration of A raised A concentration of B raised B. In that if we consider R, R is the gas constant. Its value is 8.314. Temperature, that temperature we have to take in a Kelvin. N, N is the number of moles of the electrons and F, F is the Faraday. As we know that 1 Faraday is equal to 96500 Coulomb. So, these are the term and this is the equation. So, firstly what we have to write? We have to write the Nernst equation and after that we have to tell means we have to write that correction factor and that much is the answer for this question. So, here we have completed the sixth one. Now, we will complete the seventh question. What is that question? See, under what conditions? Means here we have to discuss the condition. For what? See, the cell potential is called as a standard cell potential. So, if we consider when cell potential is measured under the standard condition, then it is called as a standard cell potential. Now, which are these conditions? The Cell potential, the cell potential is measured, cell potential is measured under the standard conditions, under the standard conditions is called as a standard cell potential. Now, which are these standard conditions? If we consider there is a solution. Then what is the standard condition for the solution? That concentration of solution should be 1 molar. That is the first condition. If we consider gases are there, then these gases should have 1 atmospheric pressure. This is the condition for the gases. Now next one. If we consider liquids, liquids or solids are there, then what is the condition for them? That condition is they should present in their pure form. These are the standard condition and important term is that temperature. What is the temperature that we can consider as a standard and that temperature is 25 degree Celsius. So, when cell potential is measured under this condition, then it is called as a standard cell potential. So, here we have completed next question also. Now, see. There two reactions are given and just we have to formulate, formulate the cell. As we know that reaction, which reactions takes place at the anode and which reaction takes place at the cathode. So firstly we will discuss that part and after that we will write the cell notation. So what is the reaction? See first thing. If we consider this reaction, first reaction, what is that first reaction? AU 
थ्री प्लस प्लस थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इट गिवस ए यू हियर इफ वी कंसिडर दिस रिएक्शन देयर इज ए गेन ऑफ थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन एज वी नो दैट गेन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन मीन्स दिस इज द रिडक्शन रिएक्शन एंड रिडक्शन रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस एट द कैथोड सो हियर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड फर्स्ट पार्ट सेकेंड पार्ट नेक्स्ट रिएक्शन इज एम जी इट गिवस एम जी टू प्लस विद द लॉस ऑफ टू इलेक्ट्रॉन दीज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर टू द राइट हैंड साइड विद द पॉजिटिव साइड मीन्स देयर इज ए लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज नथिंग बट द ऑक्सीडेशन एंड दैट ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस एट द एनोड one thing is very important when we want to write or representation of cell is there at that time left hand side should be of anode so general cell notation that is the electrode first one that is the anode it should be it is in the contact with the solution one then this second electrode is in contact with the second solution so this second electrode we are calling it as a cathode it is in contact with the solution so the contact between two phases it is denoted by the single vertical line and these two solutions are connected to each other by the salt bridge that's why we have shown here double vertical line so just we have to write this anode and cathode and their respective solution see anode which one is the anode mg is the anode so cell notation we are writing here it is in contact with the solution aqueous solution of the mg2 plus that mg2 plus will be in contact with the au3 plus so au3 plus is the second aqueous solution next one that au3 plus is in contact with the au and that au is the cathode so this is the answer for the cell notation you will say that ma'am that much we have to write then why to why that much explanation because if i am writing directly then you will not understand that concept if such a reactions are given then which logic which concept we have to apply that should be known to you that question is how many electrons would have a total charge of 1 coulomb means if we consider 1 coulomb charge in that how many electrons will be there that is the question so if we consider charge on one electron charge on one electron is 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb that much charge is present on the one electron now question is that in one coulomb how many number or number of moles of the electrons will be there so here one coulomb that much charge is there then what will be the number of electron that we have to calculate simply cross multiplication is there so what will be the answer c x is equal to 1 divided by 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 and after calculation we will get the answer that answer is 6.242 into 10 raised to 18 electron so simple question was there so essay equation number 3 4 or numerical part with the help of the logarithm समझने के लिए हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करो थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू